Hey! I want to talk to y'all about the video I made the other day defending the book talk girls, okay? Naturally, because I'm talking about women reading about sexual intercourse, <gasps> someone called the church elders. <laughs> I knew there was gonna be some fucking people up in arms and shit in my fucking comments. And there are a couple arguments I want to address. First off, if your argument is you just don't like to read books with smut in them, today's your lucky fucking day, bitch, because I'm going to introduce you to the power of choice and preference, if you will. If you don't want to read about fairies fucking, then don't. It's really quite simple. <laughs> if you don't fucking like it, don't read it. Move the fuck on. Believe it or not, there are billions of other fucking books in the world that you can read that don't have that in them. If they're not on BookTok, or at least not the side you're on, maybe that's a you problem. Algorithms are self-procured, bitch. They happen because of you. Next. For those of you that want to align women just enjoying reading erotic novels to a corn addiction. I have a couple choice words for you specifically. First of all, you know books about fairies aren't real, right? Okay, just want to make sure. Second, if you think corn addictions are bad, why are so many men spearheading this conversation about fairy smut books? Yeah, that call's coming from inside the house if you can fucking hear it, bitch. And last, but most importantly, the Game of Thrones books were very popular, mostly by men, well before that show came out. There is a whole bunch of smut in those books. And men didn't really seem to have a problem with that. I wonder why. Could it be that maybe because most of the sex in those books is abusive, not consensual or with underage people or all fucking three. And those books were written by a man and loved eternally by men. Do you kind of like, yeah, that's what I fucking thought, bitch. So maybe your problem isn't with women just enjoying erotic novels. Maybe your problem is that it's consensual in those books. Maybe your problem is that women's pleasure is being prioritized and the men actually like the women they fuck. And the last point I want to make, I've already gone over why women are so drawn to those books. You're trash. That's why, bitch. <laughs> but even past that, because the storylines are actually very interesting in a lot of those novels I mentioned yesterday. Even past that, let's just say women just like to read it because they like to read the smut. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> like... Who fucking cares? Your problem is not that women are developing an addiction. Your problem is that women are exercising sexual autonomy and that makes you fucking uncomfortable. Men can talk all day long about who they wanna fuck and what they imagine when they wanna fuck. But as soon as a bitch reads about a man with wings having sex with a fairy, all of a sudden we're in the 1600s Catholic era. Who the fuck are you, the Pope? <laughs> Guess what, bitch? Women also enjoy sex. That is also something they are allowed to fucking enjoy. If that's something that's stressing you the fuck out to the point where you gotta make videos about this shit and complain about books, bro, you're gonna have a hard fucking life. Like, for real you are. Get the fuck over yourself. For real. Keep this puritanical bullshit ass behavior to yourself, bitch. Nobody wants to hear it. Especially not the book talk bitches, okay? Anyways, that's it. Love you. Bye. <laughs>